Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ordinal Marker video, episode 63, and as promised, I'm going to go into Omega Challenge 1 plus 8. So 1, 8, um, get the booster upgrades first, so just get, get these, I don't think I need any more than this, and then um, go to here, get the singularity function upgrades, I don't need this one, I, can, I don't even need the singularity effect is raised to 1.4, all I need is just this build, and what this will do, I'll drop the singularity to 1, just get this, so I can go into base 3, and it's EE91 decrementing. So this is actually isn't as overpowered as I thought, but it kind of makes sense because, well, I grinded for like a day. So, I mean, it's definitely way faster. I think I was getting... At the highest, as it was like E3, E89. This is E1, E92, which is 300 times faster. So I shouldn't be complaining about it's slow. Maybe a better idea is just to go into um, like the ch challenge, or just challenge 9. So yeah, I, I, I know this, <laughs> this is a disappointment if you were coming from last episode, but it's fine. I can probably get like another singularity level out of it. It's still pretty fast. There's nothing really to go for though. I'm, I'm I guess there's I'm halfway to one singularity level, but how much is that even gonna do? Like at this point, like we're measuring singularity level, like only singularity levels that are like double digits have a significant effect. I mean, now I guess I'm three quarters of the way there, so I'm just gonna get the one singularity level. So here, here it is, there's a singularity level. Now I'm going to go out of the Omega Challenge, just go into a normal normal run, except I'm going to go into um, the Challenge 9. So here, of course, I need the singularity effect is raised to 1.4. I'm actually getting a lot more factor boost per second than I ever was before. This is 12 trillion per second, which means that I'm, it's, my Challenge 9 is probably going to be even stronger, or way stronger than last time. It's may have to do with Olive Power, which I haven't even done any, anything with. But like, Omega Challenge 5 reward may be pretty big. So, it's gonna get to Epsilon Knot in this challenge, and then just try to get as much incrementy as possible. So, let's see. It's, if, it's, if, if it says E315, that means I'm at E300, and I, I just got this 156 manifolds. So this this must mean, what, what singularity am I at? 331. Yeah, I, I, I knew it was going to be something <laughs> overpowered. And you can just see, this is probably the this is probably what people mean by the inflation era. Because you can just see, also I just crossed infinite incrementing, or E308 incrementing. So, yay. And this is going to give me even more. What am I at? What? I'm not even sure. I, I couldn't check. But um, now I'm at... 348. Like, I feel like each of these upgrades are giving, mul like, not just multiple singularity levels, they're like 10 singularity levels from a single one of these upgrades. And I'm, and it's even faster. I'm at, I'm at 254. Actually, I can, I can go, oh no, that, that was a bad idea. I, I, I thought I could, I could go down to like 250, but no. At 254, this this is actually gonna, if I go back to Incrementia, if I want, I could push all the way to E315. Like, that's how, that's how overpowered this is. And I really feel like my computer is struggling more and more with handling everything. Like, I'm, I'm getting, I don't know how many frames per second I'm getting, it's probably like 20 frames per second, maybe even 15. Yeah, this, yeah, this code isn't very optimized, unfortunately. So as I approach E315 incrementy, my singularity right now is 348. If I go back to, I need to do this right, 256, that's what I was at. Um, I will be able to go from 348 all the way to 357. That's a single one of these upgrades. And that many singularity levels is, is going to be significant. If I go back into the Omega Challenges, there's... Or, yeah, I, I think I'm going to be able to do a lot in that. I could even try to, if I wanted, try to get a 27 completion, but I think I need more Omega Challenges for this. So, of course, I will do them. I'm, I'm first doing Omega Challenge 2, and this is another plus 0.025 to 
to that multiplier, which is which is big. Like that combined with all the others are just going to be very powerful. You can just see I'm, if I just do this, I don't even need to grind factor boosts. I'm getting another huge. If I do grind factor boosts um, with this, I wonder how much better it's going to be because I think I was getting e two fourteen incrementing per second. Actually, it's not much better. It's maybe a couple orders of magnitude better. I guess that is quite a bit better. But these challenges, the rewards, this reward is the weakest reward of all. Um, I get, actually, maybe no, this one's weaker, but that's it, it's okay. Um, I might get challenge 4 reward is also useless at this point. Okay, so I've done all the standard Omega challenges, just 1 through 5, or at least 1 plus 2 through 5. I've actually, I actually do 2 twice, just because the reward is so good. And... Yeah, it's now up to 5.44 times multiplier. Last time I went into, like, Omega Challenge 6, it was, like, 4 point something. Like, so I feel like this possibly, if I... Actually, I can't make a singularity function build. I'm getting E90 incrementy per second, which actually is enough to boost this challenge. I feel... I'm not exactly sure how powerful this is going to be. I could try to get all the way to the 1.1... Completions. I'm proud. It's probably realistically in reach. I was at about 1.06, and I'm already at 1.08, and I feel like that's faster than I went from 1.00 to 1.02. So I'm actually just gonna wait it out. I just want to get that 1.1 completions out of the way, so I don't think I need to do Omega Challenge Six <laughs> ever again after this. Or, okay, maybe not ever again, but not in the near future. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back, and you can see I have gotten 1.1 completions, which means I have this achievement. Yay. And I think with this, I will be able to get just a lot more, just a lot farther in Challenge 9. And I think I'm just going to be repeating this cycle a bunch of times. It's, it's just like, try to grind some factor boosts for, um, for Challenge 9, and then... You can see I'm now actually getting 100 trillion factor boosts per second, which is crazy. And like that, like that's actually going to, that, that would allow me to reach um, or to break my factor boosts, which took two weeks plus to grind in under an hour. But let's just go into challenge nine because that, that's what, that's where the real progression is going to be seen. So I, I don't think I, 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 I wonder if it's actually worth it to... I don't think I can factor boost in Challenge 9. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. This is the real inflation. Um, You can just see how many achievements I've got gotten. Oh my god. And also my game is really lagging now. I, I Is there any way I can imp improve performance? Maybe I can get rid of colors. I, I, wonder, I wonder... What if I... Is my game, uh, seems a little better, so I'm gonna get rid of colors. I, I, I know you like colors, but I'm gonna get rid of colors. It looks like my singularity level is 567, because I have E425 incrementy. If I feel like, is, is, this isn't, there's no, not even any caps here. It doesn't feel like there's any soft caps, and also this ordinal is getting crazy complicated. Okay, so with this kind of incrementy boost, I think I'm just gonna go out of um, these these challenges, or no, I'll go into the challenges, the Omega challenges. Of course, I'll, I'll do this one, and you can see what I I I, I do um, factor boost, do the factor boost auto procedure, just because I can get yeah billions and. Like trillions of factor boosts, and with this, I'll be able to get E262 incrementing. This boosts the doubling all the way to 6.8 times. That's enough, that's plus almost 1.5. Maybe not 1.5, but at least over 1. And doing that on all this, this is going to just allow me to get much farther with every Omega challenge. Like you can see, I'm easily getting far in 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 this challenge up to four completions i can probably do it in in omega challenge 
five. I, I'm not even sure. I don't even. I don't even have this. Now that I have that, I'll be able to. I'm not even on a good singularity level. I'm just like at. Maybe I feel like maybe just around here is the is the best singularity level. Like I don't. I don't think I. I need to really do much beyond like singularity 333 and this you can see i'm up to four almost four and a half challenge completions i'm, I'm going to do this with all the other omega ch challenges as well let's go to omega challenge five where i do need to okay first i do this and then i can even that grind is not even a grind anymore and you can just see how how much better this is i'm already it seems like i'm already up to five completions of this challenge that that's how crazy it is this is this is almost the all of power is almost square that's how overpowered this is. and i can go into omega challenge four i'm probably gonna get the how did pi get here achievement right yep there it is so i've gotten all of those achievements i haven't gotten the 12 in 12 challenge one um yet so i will do that i will i can now drop the singularity to one and get all of these and is that enough to get 12 completions not quite but it's enough to get basically 11 completions so all of that is pretty powerful i think it will actually help challenge omega challenge 2 even more so i'm actually i'm gonna go back into omega challenge 2 using the more optimal build and um, while while i'm getting that i can grind factor boosts and now I, I can go um, just actually get the incrementing. My record is E264, and I can get E270, maybe even a little higher than that. So that's going to boost the doubling to almost seven times, which is crazy. Now it is time to enter Omega Challenge 1 plus 8. This is going to be huge, I think. I, at least I think it's going to be huge. I'm... Not exactly sure how powerful this is going to be, but I assume that this is going to be huge. Once I get these boosters going, let's see, it'll be um, base base 5. I, I don't know why I'm not getting anything. Maybe, okay, I may, I, I, it's probably because I got the singularity upgrades early. That's probably why. So 1, 8... It's so weird how that works. So unintuitive. These are also an all one booster. And okay, now it should work. No, is it is it some sort of auto procedure? Okay, I I seem to have got it working. So now I can actually um, drop the singularity to one, get um, all of these optimal build, and it looks like yeah, E E one o seven decrementing. That's enough. I'm not even sure how many singularity levels that is. Let's see. I'm at 567, I can go all the way up to 589, maybe even a little higher, 590. So there's a ton of achievements that I've gotten from this. I, th I think I'm going to do one last thing. Well, actually, I'm going to do a couple of, of last things. I'm I'm going to... Well, I'm first going to get these singularity levels. I'm at 592 now. I can exit the Omega Challenge, and I can... I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to grind factor boost. At singularity level 1, I'm, I'm getting 2 trillion factor boosts per second. At a better singularity level, I'm getting quadrillions of factor boosts per second. I'm, I'm actually, that makes me want to do challenge 9 again. So that's what I will do. Challenge 9. Just do, do, do the usual, and this is going to be probably completely overpowered in how many, just how much increment I'm getting. Is, is my, my max is still 592, is it because, um, I don't even have singularity effect as raised to the 1.4, and I was getting that many factor boosts, that's crazy, I'm somehow not getting any singularity levels out of this, so this actually doesn't seem like it's as powerful, maybe it's, maybe my singularity is too high, and if I just, okay, I, I, that wasn't very successful, but, I think if I grind factor boost, that's going to be a lot more powerful because, yeah, I'm now getting, I think that's quintillion factor boosts per second. But not only that, I'm actually going to go in, the last thing I was going to try is going to challenge 8 and trying to get the 27th completion because there's an achievement for getting 48 total completions. I think I'm at 47, 
So this definitely should be possible. And this is where I do want to get this in the build. So let's let's see. How, yeah, there there is the achievement. I wonder if I can get any farther. I'm actually just gonna try one more time to see if it's even possible. Um, what do you, what do you, what do I have? E113. I need E119. So this is the last completion I can do of Challenge Eight. Yeah, this is this, this is pretty crazy. I feel like with this, this will allow me. Yeah, now I'm getting a hundred quintillion factor boosts per second, which is just that, that's diabolical compared to what I got before. I'm gonna be able to get the um, E21 fact. I think that's just isn't that just that's one septillion. No, that is one sextillion. Um, I mean, am I even getting quintillion of fact of factor boosts per second? I, I'm actually gonna have to check 9, 12, 15, 18. No, maybe it's just quadrillion. That's why and with this many digits, I, it's hard to decipher between quadrillion and quintillion. Whatever. It's still a it's still a record amount of factor boosts, and it's gonna give me a record amount of cardinals. I've heard that coming up though is the biggest time wall in ordinal markup, and if you know ordinal markup, you know this is gonna be a big one. So. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.